and hello sa lahat. Nasa week 3 na tayo ng 4th quarter. So, welcome again to our new video. At ang topic natin sa araw na to is Proving Inequalities in a Triangle. So, ito yung mga objectives na kailangan natin ma-attain after the discussion. So, una, we have to apply the Hinge Theorem or its converse in real life. Second, we apply the Hinge Theorem or its converse to make comparisons in two triangles. And we have to prove triangle relationships using the Hinge Theorem or its converse. So, doon sa nakaraang video natin, ipaliwanag na natin, yung difference between hinge theorem at yung converse niya. And we actually discussed regarding this theorem. Ngayon, uh, pagpapatuloy natin yung ating lessons regarding hinge and its converse. So, as a recall, tandaan natin, pag sinabing hinge theorem, if two sides of a triangle are congruent to two sides of another triangle, and the included angle of the first is larger than the included angle of the second triangle, then the third side of the first triangle is longer than the third side of the second triangle. Pag sinabi namang converse of the hinge theorem, if two sides of a triangle are congruent to two sides of another triangle, and the third side in the first is longer than the third side in the second triangle, then the included angle measure of the first triangle is greater than the included angle measure in the second triangle. So, as an application sa real life nitong ating topic, sabihin natin in terms of the area of health, Doctors use a straight leg raising test to determine the amount of pain felt in a person's back. The patient lies flat on the examining table, and the doctor raises each leg until the patient experiences pain in the back area. Nitan can tolerate the doctor raising his right leg 35 degrees and his left leg 65 degrees from the table. Which leg can Nitan raise higher above the table? So we understand using the angles given in the problem, we have to determine which leg can be risen higher above the table. So we can draw a diagram of the situation. So on our, here on our, uh, let's uh, use some laser, no? Ayan, laser tayo. Dito, sa part na to ng drawing, this is the table. So, stable yung measure ng table. At yung pink color is the leg of Nathan. Since, um, ni-raise ni doctor yung kanyang right leg sa 35 degrees, compared dito sa kanyang left leg, which is 65 degrees. So, this is the drawing, drawing or the diagram of the situation. So, based on that, we can now say, okay, with the same length of his left and right leg and the same length of the table, we have uh, 65 degrees greater than 35 degrees. So, by Hinge Theorem, masasabi natin na yung mismong left leg niya ay mas mataas kaysa doon sa right leg niya above the table. Nitan can raise his left leg higher above the table. So, Nitan's left leg is pointed 30 degrees more towards the ceiling. So, it should be higher than his right leg. Ayan po. So, that is the application of uh, Hinge Theorem in real life. So, let's have another scenario. Mina and Rita are both flying kites in a field near their houses. Both are using strings that are 10 meters long. Mina's kite string is an, at angle of 75 degrees with the ground. Rita's kite string is at an angle of 65 degrees with the ground. If they are both standing at the same elevation, which kite is higher in the air? Mina's kite or Rita's kite? 
So, based on the given information, 75 degrees is greater than 65 degrees. And both strings have the same measurements, which is 10 meters long. As well as, they are both standing at the same elevation. In other words, the kite which is higher in the air is the kite of Mina. So, that is the application of Hinge Theorem and its converse to real life situation. So, ngayon, ididiscuss naman natin kung paano natin kinukuha ang range ng possible values for A. So, we have this figure. Kung makikita ninyo as the following given, we can say that segment LD is congruent to segment MD. Meron tayong markings. And segment MD, this one, is congruent to itself. Added that, Meron tayong uh, side ML, this one, is greater than the side MN. 18 units is greater than 16 units. So, dyan po kinonclude yung ML is greater than MN. So, yung titignan natin, since ML, ML is the opposite side of angle MGL measures 141 degrees, we can conclude that this angle is also greater than compared to the opposite angle of this side, which is side MN. So, pag isusulat natin, we can say that the measure of angle LDM is greater than the measure of angle NDM. So, isa substitute lang natin yung given Ang sukat ni LDM, yung angle LDM is 141 degrees at yung sukat ni angle NDM is 9A plus 15. So, sa substitute natin, we have 141 degrees is greater than 9A plus 15. And then, tanggalin natin yung degree symbol. So, dito, pwede na tayong gumamit ng subtraction property. So, eto, magma-minus 15 lang tayo sa parehong side. So, subtract 15 from both sides. So, ito po ay subtract. Well, hindi po subtraction. Subtract 15 from both sides. So, pag nag-subtract tayo ng 15 on left and on the right, it will have 126 is greater than 9A. And divide both sides by 9, ang A na nakuha is 14. So, 14 is greater than A. Or, pwede natin isulat as A is less than 14. So, nakuha na natin yung first inequality. Since range ang ating kukunin o hinahanap, meron tayong mga restrictions na kailangan sundin. Okay? So, kung hanggang saan lang pwede yung possible values ng A po natin. So, since meron na tayong A less than 14, hahanapin natin yung kasama niya. Remember po that an angle must have a measure greater than 0 or less than 180. So, ibig sabihin, may ginamit na tayong less than na symbol, gagamit naman tayo ng greater than since range yung inahanap. So, we are looking for the smallest uh, value ng A at yung largest value ng A. So, since meron na tayong less than, gagamitin naman natin si greater than. So, gagamitin natin si 9A plus 15, igi greater than natin siya sa 0. So, tanggalin natin yung degree symbol. 9A plus 15 is greater than 0. Then, subtract 15 sa left and right. We have 9A is greater than negative 15. So, i-divide natin both sides by 9. We have A is greater than negative 15 over 9. At pwede pa nang i-lowest term itong fraction na to. So, ang lowest term niya ay A is greater than negative 5 thirds. So, meron na tayong pangalawang inequality. Pwede na natin siyang isulat as a range. So, gamit yung mga nakuha natin kanina, we can write 
in a range a must greater than negative 5 thirds but less than 14. So I'll repeat, the range of possible values for this uh, problem is uh, a will be greater than negative 5 thirds but less than 14. So that's how to find the range of possible values of for a. And let's have another example. So yan, find the range of possible values of n. Ang variable naman natin ay n. So base dito sa ating figure, makikita ninyo that we have segment zy is congruent to segment xy. And segment wy is congruent to itself by reflexive. And segment zw is less than segment xw since 9 is less than 11. So, base dito, ZW is the opposite side of this angle. And this side, the WX or XW is the opposite side of this angle. So, sa madaling sabi, the measure of angle W, okay, ito po siya, WYZ is less than uh, the measure of angle WYX. Since, yung opposite side nitong dalawang to, 9 is less than 11. So, so substitute lang natin siya. So, we have 47 degrees is less than 7n plus 5. So, tanggalin natin yung degree symbols. 47 is less than 7n plus 5. So, subtraction tayo. Magma-minus 5 sa left, magma-minus 5 sa right. So, 42 is less than 7n. I-divide po natin by 7. So, ang ating sagot ay 6 is less than n. Or, we can write it as n is greater than 6. Ayan. So, meron na tayong isang inequality. Hahanapin natin yung pangalawang inequality. Since yung symbol na nandyan na, na, na ginamit natin is greater than, Yung susunod natin gagamitin, of course, is less than. So, remember ulit, an angle must have a measure greater than 0 but less than 180 degrees. So, dito, gamit yung ating given na 7n plus 5, ila less than natin siya sa 180 degrees. So, tanggalin natin yung degree symbols. So, 7n plus 5 is less than 180. So, magma-minus 5 tayo sa left and right. We have 7n is less than 175. So, divide natin both sides. Ang n natin is less than 25. So, writing in a form of range ng possible values ng n, we can now say that n must be greater than 6. So, n is greater than 6 but less than 25. So, that's how to solve and apply the algebra to the relationships in triangles. Let's move to our next topic. Ayan, so proving time na tayo since ito yung pinaka main topic natin for this week. So, yung diniscuss natin ay ano lang prior knowledge na kailangan ninyong malaman. Okay, so start tayo dito sa ating first proof. Write a two-column proof given segment AB is congruent to segment CD and the measure of angle ABD is greater than the measure of angle CDB. And we have to prove that AD, okay, AD is greater than CB. Ayan, so gagamit tayo ng two-column proof. Statements and reasons. So, ang ating kadalasang inuumpi, uh, inuuna, of course, yung ating unang statement. So, ang first statement natin is yung segment AB or yung side AB congruent siya sa segment CD. Ang reason natin ay given. Followed by the measure of angle ABD is, cong is greater than. Ayan. So, greater than siya. Is greater than the measure of angle CDB. At ang reason natin ay given. Ngayon, para sa pangatlong statement, kung mapapansin ninyo, ang kulang natin is itong part na to. 
So, we can say for the third statement na yung segment BD congruent sa sarili niya. So, by reflexive property. And then, since meron na tayong enough information data, we can now say that itong segment AD, ito siya, yung AD na side, is greater than this one. Base dito sa angle na to, since AD is the opposite angle of uh, ABD, angle ABD, tama po? E since base sa statement number 2, greater than daw siya dun sa pangalawang angle, so we can say that AD is greater than CB by Hinge Theorem. So, ganyan lang po kasimple ang pagpo-prove ng triangle relationships using Hinge Theorem. So, let's move on to the next example. Ayan, so sa second example natin, ipo-prove naman natin ito. Given tayo ng BA is equal sa DE, ito siya, BA equal siya sa DE. And then, yung BE greater than daw sa DA. So, kung identify natin po na yung BE, ang, this is the opposite side of this angle, angle BAE. And BA is the opposite side of angle DEA. So, using the two-column proof, column for statements and reasons, ang first statement natin will be BA equal siya sa DE at ang reason natin ay given, followed by the AE equal daw sa AE. Ito siya. Ayan. So, ang reason natin is reflexive property. Okay? And then, we can now say for the third statement, yung BE greater than sa DA, that is given. And we already have enough uh, information na pwede na natin sabihin, okay, that the measure of angle BAE is greater than the measure of angle DEA. Since we have proved na ito siya, yung BE, which is the opposite side of angle BAE, is greater than the side DA, which is the opposite side of angle DEA. So, it follows lang na yung mga opposite angles nila, ganun din. So, this is what we have for the converse of the hinge theorem. So, ganyan lang kasimple yung pagpo-prove, no? For example number 2. Okay, so mayroon pa tayong in uh, another example. So, given tayo ng triangle APY, AP is equal to AY, and the measure of angle 1 is less than the measure of angle 2. So, we have to prove that PR is less than 2YR. So, using the two-column proof, so, gamit ang two-column proof, statements and reasons, magsisimula tayo sa first statement, which is, uh, AP is equal to AY at ang reason natin ay given, followed by the measure of angle 1 is less than the measure of angle 2, which is also given. And for the third statement, we can use this one, eto. So, yung AR natin equal siya sa AR by reflexive property. Ngayon, kung mapapansin ninyo, yung ating given na uh, statement number 2, Yung measure ng angle 1 has an opposite side, which is side PR. And the, uh, the angle 2 has an opposite side, which is the side YR. And if we compare the two, we can say that PR is less than YR based on statement number 2. Since they are uh, the measure of angle 1 is less than the measure of angle 2 by the reason of Hinge theorem. So, ganyan po yung ating mga examples for proving. If you have some questions, feel free po na magtanong at itype sa ating comment box below. So, before I end the discussion, let me end this with this one. So, uh, everybody must remember, mistakes are proof that you are trying. So, thank you and have a nice day.